Hi guys, my name's Craig, welcome to Small Farmer Life, hope you're all having an awesome day. And we're down at the pond today guys, we're going to have a walk around the pond and I want to show you what the pond's looking like. It's looking great, it's nearly filled up right to the top and I've planted a load of plants around it and I think all small farms, even large farms, should have a pond of some sort and most of them do. But especially important for small farms, small oldens, homesteads, that sort of thing. If you're thinking about growing vegetables and salad greens and all those sorts of healthy foods. Now, if you're thinking about buying some land, guys, maybe you want to start an off-grid lifestyle. Maybe you just want to start a small rural enterprise. Maybe eventually live on that land. Thinking about doing anything like that, guys, think about hitting the subscribe button. Go back, check out some of the videos I've already uploaded the channel. I'll answer loads of the questions that you might have in those videos and there's lots of useful information. It's all free information, but that doesn't make it useless information. It's really important if you're looking to buy some land. And also think about hitting the bell button for the upcoming videos because I have got a lot of videos to upload and I've already uploaded hundreds. So go back and check them out guys. But today we're going to talk about ponds. Now, this is my pond, this is a small pond here. Then we'll swing round and then we have the big pond here. It's around about three and a half to four foot deep. I've dyed both of the ponds. Now, there is a lot of string algae in this pond and that needs treating this spring and it will disappear. And then I'll also do this pond. This pond looks like a tropical blue, but that's just because it's got algae in the water or algae whatever you want to call it now when i built this pond i put a lot of rocks as you can see around the edges of the pond i put big boulders on the shelf and then i put little boulders behind the big boulders and the reason i did that is because it makes lots of cracks lots of crevices where frogs toads and newts and hibernate over the winter time and then i cover it with sod at the back so under the sod behind the big stones you're going to see some more here there's lots of little stones and i guarantee right at this moment in time there's lots of frogs and lots of newts waiting to come out in the spring and you want to see the amount of newts that are in here in the summertime gray crested newts the lot i thought there were fish the babies but it was only when i got one of them in my hand that i realized that it had little legs but yeah Wildlife ponds are a great addition to any small olden or homestead. The amount of frogs that come out of them will take care of any slugs or other snails or any pests that you've got on your vegetables. I'll just turn this camera. The sun always seems to come out when I'm making a video. But I have my polytunnels just there and that's where I grow my vegetables. So it's not far from the pond to the polytunnel. And last year, when I was growing in that polytunnel, I didn't have no doors on the polytunnel. There's doors on it now because the chickens are in there, away from bird flu. But I had no doors on there and I had no problems whatsoever with anything eating my tomato plants or any other plants that were in there. And I'm presuming that's because all the frogs, newts and toads came from the pond and went up there for the dinner. Now, it's not just for toads, frogs and newts. But all the other wildlife that a pond brings to your land. I've got a little embankment here that goes into the pond in case any hedgehogs are drinking from the edge and fall in. Rabbits come up every morning drinking from the pond. You see them around about on a night time as well, just at dusk time. You'll see male pheasants with the hens. You'll see all the baby pheasants with them as well. They'll come for a drink out the pond. So does wood pigeons, wood pigeons all congregate around this pond you'll see herons around the pond you'll see so many wild birds and it's not just for the wildlife the pond either if you're having a bad day and you want to get away from the stress and strain of maybe a long day's graft come down and sit around the edge of the pond and i guarantee you guys it'll make you feel a lot better Watch the dragonflies flying around at dusk. Watch the bats come out and skimming across the top of the water with the swifts, catching all the insects 
they are amazing to watch and ponds are just beautiful things to create you can see a little bit of liner on the opposite side there and i've planted some plants that will creep over that liner but i wish you couldn't see any liner now the reason i use liner on this pond is because where this soil is it was overburdened from when i dug out the foundations for the stable block so i tried to compact it with a digger and it just wouldn't compact enough so i was thinking about ben and i clay which expands to around about four six times i think it's somewhere around about there but i would have needed a lot of it and it would have cost a lot of money and now seeing these liners really cheap so i thought they're big enough for what i need i'll just make two ponds one small pond and one big pond now we've built a simple walkway between the ponds so it looks like it's one big pond when you look at that side and then that side i'm hoping we get a bit more rain because it took two years to fill this pond hopefully it covers that little bit of liner and then we have a jetty that's cantilevered into the soil behind so it's got big beams that go right in the soil behind us and it doesn't have no legs into the pond now i could put legs into the pond but i'd have to put some sandbags or something on the liner and that's what i might have to do eventually if the wood rots where it's cantilevered into the ground but that'll take a long time to do and what i like to do as well is when you see timbers that are a little bit out of the ordinary like the one behind me i've got one over there i have a big log there which i carried off a beach those places are excellent places for toads newts to get out of the hot sun and you'll get lots of other insects under there as well if you really like taking photographs and a lot of people do you can make a small hive around your pond and i'm telling you you will get some of the best photographs that's why i put lots of rocks and i like the moss on the rocks the beds sit on the rocks they'll jump down on the bottom rocks take a drink out of the pond and you'll get lots of good images and if you can find old pieces of farm implements and that sort of thing rusty old farm implements stick them around the pond the birds will land on there and you will get so many good photographs so ponds are not just good for the local wildlife they're good for you they're good for your soul you get good memories with your family the other pond that i built way over i've got some excellent memories with a dog swimming in the pond it's a pretty big pond over there my daughter sitting on the jetty when she was just six now she's 13 going through early teenage years and having a tough time about it but guys honestly you will not regret putting a pond on your land now it doesn't have to be as big as this one it can be as big as this one here and you will enjoy it just as much and the local wildlife will enjoy it a lot better than probably you will because they know where they can get a drink of water every single day foxes will come if you've got badgers in the area badgers will come but you'll mostly see rabbits and wood pigeons and pheasants and grouse and all those sorts of birds and then you'll see loads of migrating birds stopping off having a rest i'm going to put a lot of air stones in the pond as well guys and i'm going to put an island in the middle of the pond floating island so ducks and that sort of thing can rest on the island i might get some mandarin ducks and then i'm going to put some solar panels on top of the hansel and gretel house and those will run or charge batteries which in turn will run the lights around the pond and the air stones and that sort of thing anyway guys if you like the pond and you like the look of the pond already give the video a quick like if you want to subscribe to the channel and you should subscribe to the channel think about hitting the subscribe button guys watch this pond develop mature over time because now it is going to mature i've just got a lot of plants a lot of plugs planted around the pond and i might put an old dark ages roundhouse on this plot i was going to put a hobbit house here but it was just too much hard work to get it under the ground and keep it watertight so i thought i can build a roundhouse out of cob no problem with a thatch roof i think that'll look amazing there with the ansel and gretel house looking out over the pond and then in front of the ansel and gretel house i'll be putting a fire pit and some seats 
around the fire pit and on a night we'll have a little fire here and we'll watch the bats skimming across the water taking all the insects and then when I get round to sorting out the Anson Gretel house I've got two really old hawthorn trees here and an old hawthorn stump that I dug out from the top and I'm going to put a deck on top of that so you can look out over the pond and enjoy what the pond looks like in the summertime and that's where the hive's going to be so I can take pictures of any birds that land around the pond and on the rocks I'll be out the way up there so it's going to be a great time in the spring and summertime around the pond so guys stay tuned hit the like video if you like the video if you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of more upcoming videos hit the bell button my name's Craig you've been watching the small farm life thanks again to all my parents couldn't thank you guys enough and youtube members really appreciate the support guys remember take care of yourself most of all take care of the family be genuine guys bye for now see ya